First, it was Wiley College in Texas, and now the West Side debaters are heading to Howard University yes. in Washington, D.C. And here to talk about the trip is Jeff May, who, of course, is the coach of the West Side debaters. So tell me about a little bit about this trip. You were invited like you were from Wiley, t uh, from Wiley, C from Wiley College, I should say. Absolutely, right? absolutely. Uh, just like it was with Wiley, uh, we were contacted by Howard University. Uh, some folks made some phone calls and inquired about our team coming out there to do some uh, exhibition debates and also some workshops and some uh, classes with that actual team so we're really excited because it's a world-renowned team and a championship caliber team and to have our kids rub shoulders and get some pointers from those uh, college students and those debate professionals in a sense uh, we're really honored uh, a lot of people in Roanoke know the West Side debaters but if in case they don't we should probably mention we believe that this is one if not the only elementary school debate team in the country. So what's it like to be first contacted by Wiley and now Howard? I mean, in many ways, this is putting Roanoke and Westside sure. on the map, and that's got to be pretty cool. Uh, it's, it's so cool uh, in, in a few respects, just because our kids get a chance to showcase what they show us all the time on a national scale. Do we have to go to our nation's capital and, and uh, take a tour at such a historic campus and uh, rub elbows with people of that caliber? Uh, it does a lot for our kids and their development. Also, to be able to put the city on their shoulders and on their back and just represent us so well, like they do at 10 and 11 years old, we're just so proud of them and we're proud about the people that they're becoming. Do they realize yet how much of a big deal this is? I, I think they're getting there. We've been talking to the kids now for quite some time about it and they're getting excited about it, but I believe the, the thing that they're most excited about is the hotel. For some reason, um, the debate, they got that. They can do that exhibition. They're good with that, but uh, they're really excited about the snacks and the hotel room, apparently. And uh, <laughs> and I understand there's a potential they may be able to visit the White House. Yes. We're working uh, on that, we, right? We've been in conjunction with some sources trying to get us uh, to be participants in a uh, White House visit. So uh, again, another once in a lifetime opportunity afforded to kids because of their academic prowess. And we're just excited and proud that we can house it right here at Westside and within the Roanoke City Public Schools. Talk a little bit about the preparation. I mean, I know you guys mm -hmm. practice quite a bit, but yeah. do you step it up as you get closer to this uh, trip? Absolutely. And I would like to say that I push them to step it up, but the kids push themselves. You know, they go home and our, our kids are routine in that they practice 30 to 45 minutes every day when they go home. So they're practicing their pieces and they're doing the research and they're doing the fact finding in order to strengthen their arguments. So the kids sort of push themselves and as they get more excited or, or sometimes nervous, they like to sort of dig down deep into what they know, into what they've been taught, so that they can produce a great show. And I'm sure the students at Howard will be impressed by the students, but I would imagine you're also hoping the students get something out from them, maybe some teachable moments. Absolutely, and that was the whole point. You know, we not only wanted to agree to do an exhibition there in front of the constituents there in D.C., but we also thought it to be very important to have those students and those debaters uh, have sessions and workshops with our kids and teach them pointers because they've been doing it for quite some time, some of them for some consecutive years on that team. So it's very important for us to get our kids there to sit under the feet of people who have been doing it and to actually see, you know, what I can do, what I can be. You know, I was, I'm in middle school or elementary now, one day I'll be in college like them. So it, it's a great thing. It certainly is, and I know these trips aren't cheap. So sure. make your plea. If, if people are watching this and they want to sure. help some of these kids go to the D.C. trip, what Absolutely. can they do? How do they help? Absolutely. They can make donations payable to uh, Westside Elementary Care of the Westside Debaters for their trip to Washington, D.C. Uh, we've had a host of community uh, involvement, organizations, businesses, and just people who really want to support the kids all donate and, and make contributions. And we're really happy and we're happy to receive even more if people feel like that's something that they want to do, so we really appreciate and that. And they can always call the school for more information. Absolutely. Right. For any other information, please call Westside Elementary, 853-2968, uh, and uh, we'll be able to fill them in with the needed information. And remind us, though, uh, maybe I should have asked this in the beginning, when exactly is the trip? Uh, April 10th through the 13th, 2014, so we're not too far away, but uh, April 10th through the 13th, uh, the 
kids will be in Washington, D.C. for a few days, and they'll also partake in museums and monuments and some tours and the uh, possible White House visits. So it's a power-packed three days, uh, but I'm very excited to have our kids a part of it. And something tells me they won't forget it ever. I, I it's a once-in-a-lifetime trip. I know it, absolutely. Well, Jeff, we wish you guys all the best. Thank you so Congratulations, much. as Thank always, so and we're expecting even better things in the future absolutely. from you guys. So. Thank you. All right, and we'll be right back.